The Activision Blizzard acquisition, yes, many people are still talking about it because, well, it's fresh in everybody's minds, it's a big, big deal, and the big question of the day is, will these games remain multiplat, mainly Call of Duty here, or will it go exclusive into Game Pass? Let's talk about it, people. Allow me to introduce myself. Who knows what dastardly crime might perpetrate next? He's a very clever arch-criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean it. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Fonzarelli video. That's right. Today, we're going to be talking about Phil Spencer's tweet heard around the world, his viral tweet about uh, having a phone call, I guess, with Sony discussing the future of Activision Blizzard games going to Sony's platform. Will Activision Blizzard games stay multi-plat or will they go exclusive? Especially when speaking of Call of Duty, because this game is, you know, it's just massive. Every year, a new Call of Duty comes out, and every year, many people say, I'm not buying it this year, but they end up still buying it anyway. It's a massive, massive franchise, and I know even myself, I went back to the Phil quotes where he was very vague on whether or not these Bethesda games or all of ZeniMax games would be exclusive or not before that deal was final. And then finally, Phil coming out and saying, no, they are exclusive to platforms where Game Pass exists. And folks, the quote today from Phil on Twitter, it's kind of different here, but yet still kind of the same. It's that corporate jargon that leaves things up to interpretation anyways he says this had good calls this week with leaders at sony i confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisition of activision blizzard and our desire to keep call of duty on playstation sony is an important part of our industry and we value our relationship that is what he's saying now and a lot of people are running with this saying hey he says right there they're going to keep call of duty on playstation but I don't think so. Uh, first of all, you got to look at the words being used here, like desired. That is the key word here. They desire. They want to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. Now, they cannot say whether or not they're going to do that until this deal is finalized. There's a lot of red tape there. They can't really go ahead and say, this is our plan. But this does kind of two things. Number one, it's telling people out there, look at me. I'm being a good guy and being good guy Phil here. We don't want to disappoint any gamers out there. We don't want to disappoint the regulators as well. Our intentions are good here. It's great optics. And then it also, it keeps Xbox trending in a good light. It keeps people talking and it keeps people speculating. Now, of course, Sony is a very important part of the industry. I would not want to see anything happen to Sony. Competition is good. It breeds innovation. I would not want to see Sony really hurting from this. But at the same time, these are businesses and they're going to do what's good for their business. And if Microsoft can keep this exclusive, which who knows with all the regulatory issues that they, they're going to have to jump through now to even acquire Activision Blizzard. But if they can keep it exclusive, I think it's in their best interest to do so. I mean, they, they're they not just going to pay $68.7 billion and deviate from their roadmap. And their roadmap is Game Pass. They did it with ZeniMax and they said, hey, we're doing this for Game Pass. They desire to keep it on PlayStation. They could be saying later on when this deal is finalized because they do have a plan here it's not like they don't know what they're going to do with call of duty trust me they know what they're doing with call of duty they just can't say right now until the deal is finalized but they could just be using this word they desire to keep this on sony's platform because well there may be some caveats there they may be holding something over sony to where they might not like the deal they might not like to keep call of duty because let's say there is some provisions there maybe they say they get less of the microtransactions that they get now or maybe they tell them hey it's going to be in game pass and you have to have some version of game pass on your platform to get call of duty who knows what they're talking about here but I'm telling you, folks, this is not concrete. But what this does say is that Call of Duty is a juggernaut in this industry, and Sony is concerned about it not being on their platform. Again, as I said in my previous video, when it comes to it staying multi-platform, it's still a game that will be synonymous with Xbox. People will think Call of Duty 
and Xbox. They go hand in hand now. Maybe you'll get DLCs first on Xbox. Maybe you'll get promotional things first on Xbox. It will be in Game Pass day one on Xbox. That's a huge deal too. I understand that. But I think the bigger benefit here to Xbox, just speaking from a business sense, I don't care either way as a consumer. I'm going to get it on Game Pass day one. It doesn't really bother me if they decide to keep it multiplied or not. I really don't care. But just looking at it from a business standpoint, it makes more sense that they make it exclusive to Xbox because it just falls in line with their plan to get more people to Game Pass. That is their ultimate goal here. And sure, as I've stated before, that choice between $10 to $15 on Game Pass or $70 every year, that will make it more enticing for some gamers, but not all. But if you make it exclusive to Xbox and Game Pass, you're going to get more people coming to Game Pass that way. It's just really that simple. It makes more sense. It falls in line with more of their business plan and their strategy. However, we don't know what this deal is going to entail. We don't know what the regulators are going to make them do here in this situation. Who knows? They can say, look, we'll approve the Activision Blizzard deal contingent upon Call of Duty staying multiplat. Who knows? But again, if I had to guess here, if Microsoft can make this exclusive to Xbox, they will. And my thoughts here, my opinions ain't based on me wanting to pull games from other platforms or other people. That's not what I'm saying here. I, I Again, I could care less what they do here. But I'm just saying from a business standpoint, this would just align more with their business strategy of getting people over to Game Pass. This is what it's all about. Phil has said it time and time again. Anyways, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, again, please consider it. And until next time, folks, try to be the best possible you, be kind to one another, and of course, as always, my friends, game on.